All right. Hello. Greetings. Hello, quarantine friends. Uh, we're going to do a uh, cooking kit. We bought this right? a couple months ago when we went to Jungle Gyms, and now we have no reason to not do this. Right. Um, as everyone else should be at home. Um, so what is this? This is poppin' cooking Tanoshi Donuts, which means pleasant donuts in Japanese. So it's a snack from Japan, and they really like they the like DIY kits, build stuff. Yeah, like do it yourself. So you little don't cute things. You don't just open this and eat it. You uh, make you it gotta, look cool. It's a process. So um, I'm a process. So yeah, it looks like it's little donuts. There are some little sprinkles, different icing. We have chocolate sauce, sugar sprinkles, crumbs, like I drop everywhere. Yes. Co cocoa dough, not cookie dough, because it's a dough nut. Vanilla sauce, a strawberry sauce, and custard dough. And then we've got happy little kawaii mascots here just showing you what to do. And if, uh, looks like these are on Amazon for about Ten bucks if you wanna. You and wanna it was try like yourself. half of that at Jungle Gyms, but I don't know. They they get you on the shipping. They yeah. get you on the shipping. So uh, you wanna start opening it up? See what kind of got uh, we got in there? Okay, so open in here. So there's advice for supervising. We don't need that. Okay. We're very responsible. We are grown folk. Uh, completely okay. unrelated. I'm, I have a. A tango cherry. Also from Jungle Gems. It's from Jungle Gems, but this is what from uh, Britain, maybe? UK. Yes, this is a soft drink from the UK. United Kingdom. Uh, tango cherry. So this package is very tanoshi, very pleasant, very nice. Decorated very well. Very like. cute. It's got like this little like lace design on it. Quite cute. It looks like something from Animal Crossing. Japanese love individual packaging and making it very fancy. So it's telling me to like do scissors along the sides here. So do I need scissor boys? Do we need scissors? Do I need slicey boys? I think it's not saying just like... Oh my gosh. Don't a potato chip it. I got scissors! <gasps> Look at him go. I got scissors. You I are no. very efficient at scissor getting. I did not run any. I just, didn't run any at all. He walked briskly. There's a difference, children. They weren't far away. Okay, so scissors are... So we, you just cut in from this side? Cut in from the side. I don't know. Oh, hey. So, so we're at step one, open the package, and we're already struggling. I probably should read. Use scissors to cut apart... Tri okay, so I got triangle cut. Okay. Prepare a glass of water. Oh my gosh, we were, we were not prepared. <laughs> it's okay, you can watch me be adorable with scissors. Look at me go. I'm really getting it, guys. Whee! I'm really not sure what the point is for this other than maybe to display the donuts on afterwards because it looks like on the I don't know what I'm doing this here it looks like they're kind of on this as like a little mat thing that is I'm beautiful tip of water Brita water only the best I'm nice. from New York purest water should I control the instructions you should definitely because you're more Competent. Enjoy making pastries only using the packing pouch as a prep sheet. So we're going to make them on the, the okay, back of that Okay, so that's package. why we have to cut them and not exactly. just... Exactly. That's what. That's the presentation. And Food all chefs network. know that the presentation is half the battle. Okay, so I'm cutting here and so I got all this cut along that. and then this is like this is like, it looks like a little like cafeteria tray to put them on when we're done. Make them on here, display them on here, right? Okay. <laughs> Just going along with what I've seen. Contents of tray, spoon, squeezing bag, sugar sprinkles, and six packets. Six packets. That's that many. Six packets. So cute and so fun. This is DIY candy for kids. I'm a child at heart. Is that true? I'm on 
Oh, you're, goodness, you're doing fantastic. I just gotta say. He loves me. Want some tango cherry? Yes, I do. It's actually good. I really like that. It almost has a Kool-Aid taste. I mean, it's, it's really cherry Kool-Aid. It smells really good. Is it fizzy? Mm-hmm. It's like carbonated cherry Kool-Aid. Yeah, it's like sparkling cherry Kool-Aid. Ooh, that hits just right. It's good. Would highly recommend. It's probably like $77 on Amazon if you wanted to import it because life is hard. Use scissors to cut a part tray as shown in picture. Okay, because it says triangle cup. This is triangle cup. Just making sure we have everything. So this is... Yeah, you cut off the... Triangle the, cup. You cut off the corner of the tray. Uh. It's a triangle cup. <laughs> so cut that off. It's more of a macaroni shape. Okay, triangle cup is gone. Okay, this triangle cup. Then you cut straight across this way. Okay, hold up. All the way across this line. Okay, so just follow straight that. Straight across, yes. Let's see, they, they say for kids, and then they want you to use scissors and cut all these things Well, that's things why all up. the supervision stuff that you skipped was oh there. Oh my gosh. If you're a kid and you get candy, you're not going to read supervision. I don't think a kid would have the patience to do this stuff. Maybe a Japanese kid. And then you cut across here. Okay. Has anybody ever done one of these before? Any of y'all? There, there's a bunch of different ones. So there's, Yeah, there's like ramen, sushi. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of pop and cookings. And each one's a little different, but they're all like a, a little kit that you put together. Here's, here's some instructions if you want to glance at them. Take a look there on the Amazon and see what other types. Are there any other like recommended? Let's check it out. Uh, we got pop and cooking. Pop and cooking. There's a uh, three pack ramen a bento. bento. Oh, like the little sweets one. There's one with like a cake and like a tart. Sweets, and yeah. Gelatin looking Japanese hamburger festival. Hamburger, ramen. Didn't we watch Brutal Moose do the hamburger one one I think time? So. It took him like forever. Yeah. Cake shop. So there's a lot of different ones. Ice cream. Ice cream. Funny cake house. That is, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that is <laughs> that's my whole life. Alright. So, okay. okay so. We, have, we have cut. So now we're on step one. We've made it to step one. We were prepared. It only, it only took just a second. You just said we weren't prepared. One. Make dough. Fill the round depression. Isn't that what we're all trying to do right now? Fill the depression? With water. Which is this, that. It's musical note. Just sing away the blues. Fill the water in the depression. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> we're off to a strong Then spot. add powder from the yellow packet. Do I have enough depression in here? It's just a, it's just a little bottom part, yeah. Okay, so which packet? The yellow packet. Is this yellow? Is this yellow? The yellow packet. Custard dough powder. Mix by pressing down with the back of the spoon until thick. <laughs> I'm losing all the stuff. I don't think I have enough water. You got water, right? Can I scrape the water from the sides? <laughs> Just don't put your elbow here. Okay, so the whole packet. Whole yellow guy. Add powder from the yellow packet. I'm gonna do a sniff test here. It's kinda, yeah, it smells like custard. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then press down with the back of the spoon to mix it. I'll, I'll let you do some of this, I promise. Okay, well, we can uh, trade mm. out the steps here. Yes. We may have to add more water, it looks like already. That's what I said. I said I didn't think I had enough. Water. I trust you more with the water pouring. 
You shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, There's a lot of... No! There's water. There's water. We're going to have some very soupy donuts. Well. No, it's good. No. It's all right. It's she all right. fine. She fine. Okay, and after that, it says to use your hands to knead the dough. Divide dough into two equal parts and round each into a ball. Place them on the packing pouch. Who is that? Is there a legend that says what the packing pouch is? That? Is that a packing pouch? I would be inclined to say yes. Hang on, I'm still feeling the depression. So once you, once you get it, you'll make it, you'll divide it in half and... And? I don't know. <laughs> Divide See, it in half, put it in a ball. I had instructions pulled up and you told me we didn't need them. Th those are instructions, sir. Not very well. Still squishing here. This is what, uh, what we got moving so far. What if it just like fell out? Just like, <laughs> Then the video will be cut short. <laughs> that smells so good. It smells like a thing. I'm gonna... It smells like marzipan. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit while you're doing that. Okay. It said two ball. So, yeah, you make it into a ball. And then... So you got two of them. And you're gonna press them into the... Press them. Shape. Okay. So there's like a circle and a little... Oh, it says do, do it with the brown packet next. So yeah. we'll have like four and then we'll make... Yeah, you're going to do the same thing with this. Okay, so we'll do like... It makes four donuts and then you press them and then decorate. Okay, I, I'm seeing where we're going now. And I'm going to make uh, vanilla sauce. Uh, out powder from the blue packet. Yeah, and here's your scissors. To section heart. So there's a heart in the bottom of the pan. Place them on the packing pouch. So here's here's my first custard dough ball and then I'll make the cocoa dough. So that is what I am doing at this moment. Cocoa. Cocoa. Powder from the blue packet. Add one triangle cup of water. I like that measurement. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, this is a triangle cup. A very that is a legit measuring unit in our I'm world. Gonna, I'm gonna save this. We're gonna use it in the kitchen. <laughs> it's like, There's, oh no, we're not using a pinch of how, salt anymore. We use a triangle cup of how salt. You, how are you supposed to really put water in that? Maybe something with like more of a pouring thing. That doesn't seem like very much. Okay, second, the custard is done. And then we'll make the cocoa. This one's slightly bigger, but we're just not gonna... I want to get something to mix with. Okay. Yeah, because I've kind of taken the spoon. Okay, I've filled my depression again. There's still a little bit of, like, custard dough leftovers in here. I'm not even mad about that. That's flavor. <laughs> I'm just ahead of the curve. So now I'm using the cocoa dough packet. This is gonna. This is like all over the place. This is just pure chaos right now. No, we are in. We are in control. We have tango cherry. A little bit too much sugar from the tango cherry, I think. Just to add, like this whole kit is is sugar. I don't think there's yeah. an ingredient here that's not sugar. There's sprinkles. I'm pretty sure all this mix is sugar. And the cocoa now. Smells like brownie mix. Oh, what? That is not it bad. It does. Smells like brownies. So I'm mixing up the vanilla sauce. Can you smell it through the camera? No. No. That's not been invented yet. No. And this is mixing up like an icing. It's very kind of gelatinous, kind of, in a way. I like that they just give you like a plastic shovel. <laughs> it's a it's a Barbie yard work Barbie. Pink they had, shovel. They had extra. 
Okay, I'm also going to make strawberry sauce, add powder from the red packet, and one, I'm gonna add it to star, a section of star, and then I will add a triangle cup of water. All right. It looks like fun dip. <laughs> Those were the days, huh? Here's a very large triangle cup full of water that I will spill everywhere. Niagara Falls! Oh my gosh. Okay. I see we got one cocoa dough ball. And then we'll make the second one. Doodly doot. All right, the strawberry sauce is being made. So the powder was white and it is turned like a pink color very quickly as, as I mixed it. All right, so you've, uh, you've pretty much made the... Yep, there's second cocoa. So we've got one, two, three, four. So do you want to go ahead and press them into the molds? Press them, so I guess just we've got kind of like a bundt cake looking thing um, and just then a just donut. like a regular donut. So one I'd of say, each in each design. I, yeah, I'd say push them in there and then we'll set them on the little set them here. making tray. Okay. I'm gonna make sure everything's in frame. So we mushing them, mushing. This is easier with, with both of us. Cause you're doing like part of we it can, I'm doing the and It's like part. splitting up, cover ground, teamwork. That's how you do it. Cool light. <laughs> oh man, that came out pretty good. Look at that. All right. I was a little worried that it was gonna stick into the tray when I finished, but. Okay, so there's the first one of that, and then I'll do that one as just like a regular ring donut, and then I'll repeat the same with the cocoa. This okay, I will need the, uh, the music note, okay. <laughs> which is that pan. There you go. They've, they've coated them just with symbols. Uh, it's, and it's embossed in the bottom, too. Like, the very bottom of it has, like, a music note, and then there's... So, I'm going to add powder from the black packet to make uh, chocolate sauce. So, I'll take this. Ring donut? Ring donut. Does it look ring donut, friends? So, I will add this black packet into here. And then a triangle cup of water. <laughs> Such a reliable unit. Okay, this just looks like pepper. <laughs> I don't know if I can... Achoo! Looks like pepper in the bottom of that. All right. Okay, cocoa ring donut. I'm actually really kind of happy with how these are coming out. Then we'll do okay. the little bunt cake looking... I'm gonna spill another triangle cup of water. Hooray for my tablecloth. We have a dryer. Yep, we do. So there's a triangle cup. And I will mix it. I spilled some immediately. <laughs> you just flung it. As soon as... Throw caution to the wind. This was clean, wasn't it? It was clean, yeah. I just put this tablecloth on today. But we have more than one tablecloth too, yay! And there's the last one. These look so fabulous. I'm such a happy girl. Okay, what's uh, what's it say in step five there with the chocolate? Let me just brush the water off the box. Okay, so make chocolate pen. That's what I'm doing. Okay, add powder from the black packet to section music note. So you did that. Add one triangle cup of water and mix well. Fold down the top of the squeezing bag. Time to get the squeezing bag. And put sauce into it. I think this is... That looks like a squeezing this bag. This is the squeezing bag. If I've ever seen one. We thought it was the... The packing pouch. <laughs> it wears many hats! Yes. Okay, so... So we put the chocolate in there, right? Yeah, and then you're gonna, like, squish it and do a thing and then cut it just like a piping bag for... Okay. A real pastry. 
You hold that there, I will scoop. You gotta get it, all of it out. That's very important. Scrape it with that Barbie shovel. Okay. Got it. Alright, so we're gonna do that, and then it's like pinch the top. It doesn't seem like there's very much in there. No, there's like, there's, there's nothing. Because the, the area of the bag is this much, and then you just have chocolate sauce in bit. just the corner. They are small donuts. They are, they are little, yeah. All right, so now we want to, let's move the water away from the computer. And we want to, this is all garbage, right? Yep. Move donuts into frame. Use scissor to cut off one corner. So you cut that bottom corner off. Whoa, the scissors are a little bit weak. No. Okay, so pretty much now it's just decorate the donuts. However you like, with vanilla sauce, strawberry sauce, chocolate sauce, sprinkles, and crumbs. Crumbs. So, uh, we got a packet of sprinkles here we will also prepare. I'll just put triangle cup on top. I'm very avant-garde. It's a very nice hat. Oh, cr crumbs. Okay, so there is another packet right here of, uh, crumbs. I don't know what crumbs are, but we have crumbs. So we have sprinkles and crumbs. You're all the time roasting me for dropping crumbs over the, all over the place. And let's uh, get a little better view of the I actual. I like you don't know what a crumb is. Whoa! That's it. It's just like little cookie pieces. All right. So we get uh, get a good view of there. We'll decorate a couple. Chocolate, uh, we'll make one strawberry and one vanilla. I don't know if being a pastry chef was my calling. <laughs> I'm just kind of like circling here. Let's go with a little vanilla on the chocolate oh, donut. Oh, beautiful. That's a great aesthetic. Just kind of nest the packet here. A little bit of these crumblies on it. The more you cover it up, the more it looks just like a cake and not a, a donut anymore. Mm hmm. A little bit of the crumbs and just a little, let me cross over there. Is this too much? We'll do some happy little sprinkles. No. Oh. Is that too much? Sir. It doesn't look like a lot when you make it in the little cup, but then it's, it's like the opposite of it this. It goes pretty it's far. Like... Okay, and then strawberry, right? Strugleberry, yeah. So, do we eat this? Yes. On camera. Yes, we're eating. You can't just make them and not eat them. That's like it's a waste. All right. It's like starting to go off the side. It's like a yeah, volcano. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, what else we got? We got some. Uh, there's crumbs and sprinkles, sprinkles. If you want to do anything. Let's make a chocolate. Chocolate. I want to make a chocolate one. Double chocolate. Add some little happy colors here. Whoa, there. No slipping. All right. These look pitiful compared to what's on the box. <laughs> you have to be a watchmaker to decorate them perfectly. This one's like got a clown face and everything. You're I'm to, the clown. You're supposed to do that with the, the bag. <laughs> no, they made like happy like hard eyes with the yeah. heart sprinkles. I'm sorry, but my fingers are not precise enough for that. Get a little better look at them here. That is... Oh, man, I've never seen... That is really something. I've never seen any pastries look any better than that. Nah, that's just... That's all there is to it. You're delusional. It's the cherry tango talking. 
All right. So, uh, which one would you like to choose? Um. Well, since this is really the only one I did from start to finish, I'll get this because it's. Got oh, hold on. Hold on. Now I didn't get any sprinkles. We didn't put them on the picnic. Oh my gosh. Thing. Okay. Well, just sprinkle it and then. There, there's icing everywhere. They're not gonna. Oh, you know it would look extra special if we put that on top of that. That's a great idea. <laughs> My hands feel really gross. And I'm saying, like, I was out, like, gardening for a good while today, and all the garden dirt felt better on my hands than this starchy... Ooh, a sprinkle. I dropped it. <laughs> you, you stalled. You stalled. It was in a critical Is moment. It, play that song from The Price is Right when you lose. We're going, uh, we're going full crumbs right here. Okay, I'm just going to eat this green sprinkle then. There we go. Now they're finished. Can't see what I'm doing. I think the sprinkles are maybe fruit flavor because I got like a melon taste. Yeah. All right, so uh, have at it. Okay, so this was still my choice. Don't you throw away this triangle cup. I'm, this is, we need this. <laughs> I'll put that with my other measuring cups. Yes. It goes in the drawer. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to use a pinch of salt or here's a pinch a, of pepper. There's a fine tango to wash it down with it's afterwards. It's going to be a little bit rich, but we'll see. Okay. So, here's this. I don't want anything to fall off. But... It did anyway. And there used to be a donut in this, and now it's just kind of icing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the toppings are good, but the consistency of the dough, I almost can't get past that. It's like something that's like uncooked. It's, it's almost like a gummy, but not. It's like if you took pudding and didn't do it correctly. It's very squishy. And lumpy. Mm-hmm. This is not delightful. No, it's not. It's not what I would think of when I think of a donut. We sure had a good time bonding over mm -hmm, it. Fantastic. Yeah. You want to try the chocolate one with crumbs? I'll try the crumb one. I'm still trying to just get past it. Like I said, the topping and stuff's good, but it's just the consistency. It doesn't even have a bad flavor. I had the, the vanilla icing and the chocolate donut. It was, like a, it was a slight chocolatey flavor, but not much. Now, that tango is where it's at. <laughs> I still had a lot of fun doing this, and it would be something fun to do for people that are just trying to pass the time. Oh, for sure. You want to make something cute and... I'm going to try this. Uh, so, this is just a vanilla donut with strawberry icing and some sprinkles on it. You can have chocolate chocolate. I'm just gonna mop up these crumbs. I think the sprinkles are the best part. Yeah, the sprinkles are great. Cause it got like fruit flavor. Pretty yellow sprinkle. Yeah, they're, they're too mushy. The texture's just really, really bad. Yeah. Which I know. But you think donut, you think it's gonna be a what? certain way and then it's like, that's not We mix it up donut. from powder. Yeah. With a little shovel. I mean, it's not going to be a donut. Barbie shovel. I mean, I guess it's candy. But. I don't think I would make one of these again to have as a donut. No. I would I would try the other ones, though, just for the fun of it. Because mm -hmm. it, was, it was fun. Yeah. It was, it was very fun. The end result was not tasty. I really didn't expect it to be like. Oh, this is the best candy I've ever eaten, but it, no. was, it was fun and it was cute. And I think that's mainly what they were going for. I knew it wouldn't be a donut because they're fried, you know, and you're, we're not uh -huh. frying anything. Uh -huh. You're just mixing up powder. This is a sad paper towel. You think I'm not going to eat it, though? <laughs> I'll do it. Now we got to wash this and throw away everything. But that looks fine. Thank you all for joining us. I hope uh, you want one. Go for it. Bonus content. 
I was just noticing here too on this thing that I cut off, it shows you how to make little things like, look a bear! Could have made like we a did, little- We didn't make that. We didn't make donut bear. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. Bonus content, bad fortune cookies from Jungle Gems. We gotta get rid of them. They're, they're not great. They're but a plague on my household. You get a fortune for sticking through to the end. These are chocolate fortune cookies. Sounds great in theory. Horrible, but it's a fortune. For you! For you. You get a very unfortunate today. And I'm Everyone not eating idea. this. I'm just gonna open it. You have to it. eat half of it. I'm gonna yeet it into the abyss. You have to eat half of it. If you open a fortune cookie, you can't throw the cookie Where away. Where is that written? You cannot throw the cookie it's away. It's not written anywhere. Show me a law. It's wasteful. Sir? I've called you sir 89 times in this video. It's kind of a thing now. Ew, and I'm stuck with the bigger half. Uh -huh. Eh. That's your, that's your fortune. <laughs> You will always have good luck in your personal affairs. Oh, that's wonderful. Except when it comes to eating a disgusting cardboard fortune cookie. That's a reward. If you make it through, you get the tango. These might be stale. It's like when you burn chicken in a pan and it's what you scrape out of the pan. They might be stale. Or it might just be how they taste. I think they were just made that way. Why does that taste like soy sauce? Kind I'm of... very aggravated with this. Give me tango. Thank you all for joining us. While you crunch that one down. <laughs> You're dividing it up too much. You just gotta hit it. I can't do that. I know it's mind over matter, but there's too much to mind, and it really matters. On that note, we're out of here. Thank y'all for joining us. Everybody, stay safe. We're gonna get through this. We're good to go. Get you some activities to do. Keep your mind going. Keep your spirits up. This is a mess. And find something to laugh about every day. Yeah. I'm enough of a joke for him. Come on. <laughs> Thank you all. Y'all have a good one.